Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last part, we we met Bill, I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I recorded. We met Bill, we evolved Serpentine, and we uh, faced a Team Rocket Grunt. That's basically it. And in this part, I am going to beat the gym, or the second boss. I still can't figure out which one to call it. Like, it, it is a boss, but I, it, I always called it a gym when I was like... Seven to forever. All right, and so we're done healing up. So now we should probably head on to that gym. Now we've already beaten all the trainers here, so we got a smooth ride up. But there's two things I can do before fighting Misty, the boss. I can use Serpentine to just rape her, or I can use Stoner to slowly but surely get rid of all our party. I kind of want to use Stoner, because he needs to train. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Well, mine is, uh, varied, okay? Varied. V-A-R-I-E-D. Varied. Means many different types of Pokemon. Uh, later on in my Let's Play career, I might actually do a, multi a singular type team, uh, but that's later. Alright, so I use Sleep Powder on Staryu, which is a water type Pokemon. It has high defense and a little bit of good... It has, it's basically a defensive type Pokemon, but it's not really that great defensive. You know what, I haven't even looked this up, I'm just talking bullshit, so... Uh, but I'm guessing. I'm guessing pretty good. I, be I bet you you look that up on Bulbapedia, and and it'll be true. All right. So now Staryu is out. Stoner's gonna get a, a really good amount of experience. Well, Stoner-wise. Oh, Poison Powder. Poison Powder is an extremely useful move. Uh, all it really does is poison the opponent. But poison is a really useful status infliction on the opponent. So, there's no reason why I wouldn't want it. And here is Star Me. Star Me is the evolution of Star You. Uh, basically, it's just another Star Me behind it, and it's turned purple. So, I don't, I don't even know. So, I'm going to keep Stoner out. I'm going to put up a Sleep Powder. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out. Because Star Me is not a singular water type Pokemon. It is also water slash psychic type. And Psychic is weak against Dark-type, and Serpentine just learned a Dark-type move. And that move is Bite. And Bite would be super effective on Starmie, which is extremely useful. And Starmie won't be able to hit me, because it's asleep. So, yeah, we just, we just got her. Or it. Yeah, it doesn't have a gender. Look, look at its stats. Uh, look at Serpentine. At the end of the Serpentine's name, it is a blue... A blue, uh, gender symbol. Misty doesn't... Misty Starmie doesn't have that. They, that's because some Pokemon don't actually have genders. Uh, like Voltorb. I don't think Voltorb has a gender, and I don't think... I don't think Metang, which is a, not a Pokemon in this game, but it's still a Pokemon. I don't think that has a gender either. But, uh, that's just because... I don't even know how they decide which ones have genders or not. I'm pretty sure Voltorb doesn't have a gender because it's just a ball. And Matang doesn't have a gender. And Beldum and Metagross, they, they're the same evolutionary uh, party, I guess. Uh, they don't have a gender because they're made of metal. I'm not saying that, you know, not all metal things have genders, but I'm just saying. You can have the Cascada Badge. That only took four minutes, and we're ready to continue with the episode. That even includes outsiders you got from trades. There's more. Now you can use cut anytime, even outside of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. Ryan received TM-03 from Misty. It's Water Pulse. Use it on aquatic Pokemon. Uh, we have an aquatic Pokemon, and that's Gyarados, or Serpentine. But I'm not going to use it on Serpentine, not yet. Uh, I don't really need to heal. So I'm just going to continue on. And because, actually, 
Gyarados or Serpentine is not actually going to be my main water type Pokemon, no. It is going to be my main offensive Pokemon. Because Gyarados slash Serpentine, why, why do I keep on saying that? Is an extremely offensive Pokemon. And by that I mean it has a massive amount of attack power. So uh, let's go to Saffron or Celadon City. Uh, I forget which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's Saffron. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, the road's closed. Oh. What well, not that dandy? Maybe if I go through this tunnel, the underground path. Yep, this is a tunnel. It leads all the way under Saffron City. Yeah, it's Saffron, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and it comes up to the south of it. And I'm pretty sure that we'll, we'll be able to get into Saffron City from here, right? I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty, though. Oh, wait. There. The road's closed. Oh. Well, something must be going down in Saffron City, so we'll have to check that out later. Uh, just remember about that, though, because that's going to be later on we check that out. Rare candy right there. And, yeah. So, now we got trainer battles. I'm going to put Blanca out, because Blanca needs to train now. I want to really, really distribute the experience. There aren't many bugs out here. Alright. So, obviously, this is going to be a bug-type trainer. He has mainly the normal type of bug type. Seriously, why didn't you just evolve your Weedle? Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you joking? That's level 16. Level 16 Weedles are not acceptable, alright? They're not acceptable. I'm not... Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna give you a little advice, buddy. When your Pokemon tries to evolve, unless it evolves into a total dumbass Pokemon, evolve it. Uh, an example where I wouldn't evolve a Pokemon, well, this is just for me, uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't. Because the stats are raised for this Pokemon, it's just that its ability is terrible. A Vigoroth. If it tries to evolve, I would definitely not evolve it. Because when it evolves, its ability turns into this ability that makes it so it, it uses an attack one turn. Then the next turn, it doesn't do anything because it's loafing around. That's right. The ability makes it... A lazy ass. It, it makes it lazy. That's right. What a terrible ability. But it makes up for it with its attack stat, so... I'm not complaining. Caterpie, great. Let's kill this thing really easily with Fury Swipe. Oh, critical hit. Oh, and it only did 14 damage. Oh, critical hit. Whoa, we both got critical hits. Is this some sort of, uh, conspiracy or something? Because I don't like conspiracies. I'm, I'm, I'm just putting that out there. I don't like conspiracies. So, I'm still a little worked up about that whole Caterpie Weedle not evolving thing. Alright, so, Kago. No, you're kidding. No, I'm not kidding, buddy. You should evolve those things. Who's there? Quit listening in on us. I wasn't listening in on you. I wasn't listening in at all. I just talked to you, and you were just like, Hey! Don't listen in on me! And I was like, okay, buddy. And you were like, fight! I was like, okay. And you just sent out my blanca. And now I'm talking about what you said. And then I was like, Oh, uh, never mind, I'm not going to do this. Foe Squirtle, use the water again. When I was younger, I thought that Squirtle and all the, uh, all the starters, they were the best Pokemon you could get in the game, but no. It's actually what's happening, is Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander, they're good all-around stat Pokemon. Which makes them good in every single way. But they're not extremely good. See, um, Gyarados is better than all of them. 
all Venusaur, which is the final evolution of Bulbasaur, Blastoise, which is the final evolution of Squirtle, and Charizard, which is the final evolution of Charmander. Gyarados was better than them in attack stats. All of them. But, um... Like, uh, Blastoise, per se, would be good all around. Uh, it, it has higher defense than its attack, but it's still all good all around. It could have good balanced stats. Like, wherever you look, it'd be balanced. You'd be like, oh, that's pretty close. Like, it's speed. No, not it's speed. That's a terrible... It, it, it's speed is not balanced, alright? Excluding speed. Pikachu, that's a speedy Pokemon. Uh, Raichu, which is the evolution of Pikachu. Raichu is very, very speedy, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna make a bullshit, so I'm not gonna say anything else. But, uh, yeah. Let me just change my Pokemon around, because I don't... Why am I talking like this? I don't even know, alright? I've never seen you around, are you good? All I remember is that guy, he's not a dumbass like the rest of the bug catchers. He has a Butterfree. Oh. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember certain battles. I'm gonna change, though. The Charmantis. Because I'm not fighting Blanca, who has one health against a Butterfree. Because Butterfrees are not actually half bad. Like, I wouldn't take one. I wouldn't take one to the end of the game. But they are not half bad. They are probably 75% bad. No. 25% bad. Uh... But they're not half bad. If that's... Meh? Yeah, meh. Whatever. I don't even know anymore. I'm confused and paralyzed, so I have 25% chance of actually attacking. But I attacked, and I killed it. Black grew to level 19, and everything's good. Everything's good. Oh, and Charmantis even grew to level 21. You're too good. That's right, I'm too good. Too good for you. And then I'm gonna send out Stoner to begin with. I'm just gonna change it up a little. Um, actually... No, 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 no. I'm actually gonna send out, uh, Serpentine. And then... I'm gonna go into this battle, right here. So I can heal. Huh, you wanna talk to me? That's right, I want to talk to you. Alright. Well, we can't for Jeff. Oh, I'm sorry, I just have to look away for a minute. And Serpentine. Serpentine has a really good ability that makes it so the opponent's attack stack is automatically half at the beginning of the battle. Or whenever you switch Serpentine or Gyarados in. But... What I'm surprised about is when I first got this game, uh, like, back maybe five years ago, I, I, I had a Magikarp, I was just like, that thing looks like, like shit. So I wanted on my team, because that's how I was like. I was a retard back then, okay? Don't judge me. Uh, so I wanted this piece of shit on my team, and I was like, this sh piece of shit is really hard to train. But I did it, because I'm a retard, okay? I'm, I'm, I apologize. But that's who I am. And basically it evolved in that into Gyarados, and I was like, holy fuck. That thing is amazing. And that's the end of the story, because I'm not really good at, at like, telling stories. As you may know with, from my battle with Brock, I make terrible stories, okay? This stinks. I could beat I couldn't beat your challenge. That's right you couldn't, buddy. Alright, so thanks for watching and we're in Vermilion City, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.